But first things first, dudes of the week, Nick, as striker scored for you guys, and it was an incredible goal. I'm going to let you go first. You got the opening pick. Michael, you guys beat City 1-1, so you can go second. Uh, and Dylan, you can go third. I'll, I'll pull up the rear because I think my result was probably the uh, most, like, probably should have won. Dylan, you got the least lucky. I feel bad not putting you third, but, like... I don't deserve do? third. I should be last. <laughs> All right, I'll go third. You can go last on this one. Double pick. Um, Nick, open us up. I think this is the first time you ever had first pick, to be honest. Uh, it. It's possible. You know, just patience is clearly paying off. Uh, there you go. Dudes of the week, we're getting into it. <laughs> yeah, gotta go number one. Not even a question. Alejandro Garnacho with the overhead bicycle kick that nobody saw coming. Like, who thinks about doing that on that type of ball? Um, the technique, everything. The wild part about it is that's his first goal of the season. So, um, <laughs> yeah, not to put a little, you know, to kind of take a little shine off, but... Uh, that was insane. Actually, my favorite part, a little sign on Twitter today, there's a United fan account, UTD Trey 5 and mm-hmm. he, he said, uh, not going to lie, this Garnacho uh, goal has gotten more more glow up than City win the treble. And and I and the comment section was hilarious. Like, I got to finally get in and send because people were just roasting this dude. It was pretty yeah. funny, but the goal was, I mean, that's, that's if that doesn't win... If something beats that for the Puskas Award, like, that's going to be an obscene, obscene goal. <clears throat> yeah. Sick goal. Incredible goal. That's all I'll say about it. Michael? Uh, first of all, just nothing new for United Trey there. Um, he gets roasted more on the internet than I do, so like, I mean, that's pretty he, tough. He pops up because I don't follow him, but he pops oh, up on all my the stuff time. anyway. He gets crushed. All the time. <laughs> all the time. Uh, my, my first dude of the week, I got to go Paul Mullen. Three goals, man of the match. For Wrexham in a 6-0 win. Congratulations to those guys. Uh, I think they're going to make a, a charge for the top spot in the league. I think it's Stockport and Knotts that are still ahead of them. Um, they're in third they're in right second. now. They're All in second. They're, they're, in second. second. Oh, they're in second now? Okay. Yeah. So it's those three promoted teams in the past two years, though, that are all at the top. So that shows you how tough the competition was in the National League. Big time. Big time. Um, I had that one as well going into this, and I changed it. So I... I, I'm uh, good. You didn't take my pick. Uh, I'm going to shout out someone that I actually think is one of the bigger cornballs in the world. Uh, but now, post-retirement, kind of started liking him a little bit more. Justin James Watt. Shout out to J.J. Watt. Uh, there's a video of him. He went to Burnley. He sat in the supporter section. He is as big as three English men in the supporter section. Uh, they scored a goal. He went absolutely berserk. Um, I kind of like that he's... he. he Went into Burnley, I think he's like a very, very minority owner, but went into Burnley and he's he's rolling with it. So, shout out to him. It looked like a ton of fun. Like I said, big time cornball before, but more respect for, for JJ post-retirement. All right. Um, I think you guys are all going to know this person. I'm about to make my dude of the week. Uh, Yersin Mosquera. You know, real household name there. Um Defender for uh, FC Cincinnati on loan from the Wolves. I normally wouldn't shout this out. However, it was against my union with the late 90th minute minute goal to send uh, FC Cincinnati to the Eastern Conference Finals. So, you know what? In a year where the Wolves can't stop scoring, we're doing it in other leagues too. So, we'll, we'll take that as a win. True. Uh, number two... Also, someone I don't enjoy saying for this reason, Anthony Gordon. Uh, kind of good this week. Goal assist, uh, actually looking good for Newcastle. Still don't like his face very much, but outside of that, like, I always thought it was a dumb signing for Newcastle, and he's actually proven me wrong, so good for him. Gordo. Gordo getting getting a goal and an assist. Um, Everton, not the best week for them, though, obviously. Or, God damn it. I'm going to clip that out. No, I'm not. Um, Anthony Gordon, shout out to him for Newcastle. Um, I think I got nervous because for my next dude of the week, I'm going to be tiptoeing a fine line here. I don't know if you guys are going to know who this person is, but if this name rings a bell, I can tell by your eyes. 
Shout out to Alicia Lehman. She's a Danish midfielder. Yes. Danish midfielder for Aston Villa. Um, Don't get your hopes not up. Only, not, not only R. I. P. is she... Louise. Yeah. Douglas. Douglas. Douglas uh, God damn it. Took my, took my final line here, too. Um, not only <laughs> a, v- a very, very good footballer. Today, she just announced that she released a calendar for next year. Um, Shut that she's very, she's very, <laughs> she's very proud of. And you know Shut what? I need to find I'm a white just... elephant gift for some friends. Is this what you're telling me to buy? <laughs> I don't know what's on the inside. Put it that way. But this is just a man supporting a woman. Is doing this what your, she wants to do? Is this your way of telling us that we need to do a, NAF, a men of NAFTA pod? Uh, no. Calendar? <laughs> no, I don't want to do that at all. But I'm saying that it's 2023. You respect. All ideas, all work, um, and not only being a great footballer, sometimes you can identify that someone has an absolute dump <clears throat> truck. So shout out to Alicia Lehman. There you go. And and we Nick, su- to your point, we the support, only L, we support. the only L Douglas Louise has held all year, uh, losing that one. So is yeah. what it is. Michael, two two very attractive two very attractive people. It's sad it had to come to an end. Um, yeah, we love. love. I I'm in. Absolutely, every single time. Uh, I'm, at, as everyone knows, in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, Columbus crew taking down the uh, Orlando, I don't know what the fuck their name is, Lions or some shit like that? Who knows? Um, Orlando City, I think that's all it is. Juan Hernandez, shout out to you. Getting that getting that goal. Uh, give the boys the win. Don't know why he's a 24-year-old that left the Premier League to come to Columbus. I think he just likes 19-degree weather. Uh, and pretty much nothing else so shout out to him i'm glad he came yeah uh michael huge mls guy as as we can tell. massive nick final four baby double double pick nick all right first one we're gonna stick with the academy products we're gonna go with kobe Mainu. he was an absolute i know michael i de- i was so in my head how do i pronounce this correctly and it's i'm, I'm hoping i did it i did it right yeah oh you did that great it's just a oh, shill okay. this week huh Oh, yeah, why not? I mean, if Dylan can do it with okay. Wolves players and different limbs of Wolves players, why can't I hey, do it? Hey, hold on, hold on. It's very it's different. not Wolves players. It's not Wolves players. He does it with one Wolf player in different <laughs> forms. Yeah. You know, fine. that's all fair, it is. Fair, fair, But Kobe was an absolute, you know, 18 years old, first start ever in the Premier League. I mean, granted, Everton, but still, hostile environment was an absolute beast. Absolute beast. So that was really exciting to see, so... He's my second dude of the week. My third dude of the week is going to be Sergio Ramos. Dude actually convinced the referee to go to, to the, go to the screen and check his second yellow card, and he got the card rescinded, only to be handed a straight red and sent off the field. So <laughs> good for him. If there's anything more Sergio Ramos than that, I mean, I I don't know what is. I think he actually now has the club record. Um, like all clubs, record yeah. for most red cards in a career. So, shout to Sergio. He's um, also the first great. back back to back NAFTA dude of the week, I think, too, right? No, we'll I've, I've, well, I had Pedro Neto in different forms for four straight weeks. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. There was first half Pedro Neto, second half Pedro Neto. Right. Good Pedro yeah, Neto. Good. Bad Pedro Neto. Yeah, he's still pretty <laughs> good. Um, yeah, shout out to Sergio, Michael. Last one. Uh, Unai Emery, he definitely had been a, a, a due to the week before, but it is yeah. just absolutely outstanding what he's doing. Third best coach in the league. Um, I think it's not close. Number three, right there. Yeah, it's Unai's world right now. Um, shout out to Villa. I'm sure we're going to talk about them here in a second as well. Uh, mine, my third due to the week, uh, unfortunately not soccer related, but kind of soccer related because you got to travel. Uh, to go places to play soccer. These teams travel all the time. Um, I want to give a shout out to, to TSA. Yesterday was the most traveled day in the history of the world, airline wise. Uh, and they had to screen 2.894, 304 million people uh, in one day. And I don't like to fly. Aviation disasters scare me. We didn't have one, dude. That's kind of crazy. It's like the wonders of the subway. TSA agents are incredible. Just so, shout out to TSA. Yeah. 
Um, so mine also isn't football related. So now I feel bad. And I should find something football related. But uh, Nick Marucci, uh, quarterback of the Delaware Fighting Blue Hens, um, Lafayette Leopards twenty-eight three themselves, being up twenty-eight to seven at halftime. And no, no. You, at one sorry. point, it was not that at halftime. Settled down. Fine. It was twenty-eight seven with two minutes left in the second quarter. So what was and the score at halftime? Twenty-eight thirteen. Regardless, <laughs> Blue Hens still came back, won the. Uh, what is it, 34-32? Um, so 36-34. See, more impactful to you because there's your one Super Bowl game where we win all the time. Also, we're FBS bound now. So, Enjoy your anyway, now so you ain't going to get it in the next 10 years. You kidding me? I've already booked my tickets to the Bahama All-State Automotive Bowl in about three years, so I'm really excited for that. But ultimately, due to the week, Udell absolutely coming back and ruining Lafayette in, uh, in their football game. Care, careful uh, what you wish for there, Dylan, because as an Ohio Bobcat fan, we were at the Idaho Potato Bowl for three straight years. Um, pretty sick. <laughs> pretty sick. Pretty sick. All right. Dues of the week. Done and dusted.